I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm gonna do you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, no, 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 no. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Columbia, South Carolina, where we find a frauditor who doesn't have a clue, but he wanders into the building where they issue building permits, licenses, things of that nature. He has absolutely no business to conduct other than filming with his potato cam in public spaces. How lovely indeed, and he wants to be sure to educate the security guard and the staff so next time he comes back, they will understand he's a complete moron. Well, he may be, but I'll tell you one thing, we're all going to watch this and <laughs> enjoy! All right, it's Live DD, and out downtown Columbia, South Carolina. I'm gonna walk in and do a First Amendment audit. Now remember, everyone, these idiots, these so-called First Amendment frauditors, and that's what they are, they're frauditors, they're not auditors. They do this under the guise of protecting everyone's American rights here in the United States. What kind of utter nonsense is this? So you are sticking your potato cam in places it doesn't belong, and this supposedly protects everyone's rights. That's the biggest bunch of bloody palava I ever heard of. Really? Come on, can't you find a real job? Didn't your mama teach you any better? A few moments later. Uh, hey, how are you? Ma'am? You need help with something? No, I'm just looking around. Oh, okay. Are you. Do you, you work for the city or. No, I don't work for the city. Okay, are you recording? I'm recording. Okay, what are you recording? What am I recording? Anything I can see from public? For a public? From public, from, from a public area. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'm not sure, are you, are you recording my back? Yeah. What is, what is your name? Let's start with that, what's your name? Well. Hey, this is a state building, so. State who, building? Yeah. I thought it was a city building. What city building, state building. Yeah. So what is your name? Uh, right now it's Good Citizen. Oh, yes indeed, Good Citizen. This guy is anything but a good citizen. He's a pain in the you-know-what. No doubt about that. What's wrong with this guy? He just wants to walk in and exercise his rights and film anything he can see from public. Well, that sounds interesting, but uh, you're disrupting business. You're causing a disturbance, you bloody idiot. Of course, most of the times, police come and they side with the frauditor, and that just gives them ammunition for the next time. What these frauditors need to have happen is they need to be carted off to jail and sit in there for about 24 or 48 hours. Then they might think twice about it. But then on the other hand, they would probably say, oh, I'm going to stand up to the man next time. Well, you keep doing that, frauditor, because you must have plenty of money to bail yourself out of jail, sweetheart. It's okay, if you're not going to give me a name, if you're not here to handle business, then you got to leave. Well, I am here to do business. Okay, what business are you here to do? Well, that's none of your business, for one. Well, it is my business, because I'm the security guard here. Okay. So I'm asking you a logical question. Okay. If you're not here to handle business... I am. Okay, then what business are you here to handle? Well, like I say, it's... 
I don't do you be work rude. for the city or do you work for I'm a private citizen. You're a private citizen. That mm -hmm. means you you're just a regular citizen. Just a regular so you're citizen. You're not here to handle business with the development services or with business license or mm -hmm. anything upstairs. Then I got actually. I'm not trying okay. to be rude well, or nothing. But I just walked yourself. in. <laughs> And I'm here to do business. Okay, so what do you what do you need help with? This is what I'm I asking. don't need help. I do apologize, ma'am, but this moron has absolutely no idea what he's talking about. He just there to harass you into a negative reaction. And from the looks of it, he's well on his way. Now, what he really wants is for you to call the police on him because that will increase his clicks and views and his money. That's why these frauditors really do it. They don't care about the First Amendment. All they care about is the clicks and views and how much money they can make on YouTube. Now, what I would suggest, ma'am, is you go ahead and call the police and maybe you'll get a good cop in there that will kick him out. But you'll never know until you call him. So I say go for it. If I need help, I'll ask. Okay. You cannot so. just be in here recording. You sure about that? Okay. Do are you? What are you looking for? Well, um, first of all, can I get your name? No, you cannot. Teresa. No, it's not my name. Okay. And what is your name? Well, I'm not telling you my name. You're not. Who do you work for? Security management. Moments later. All right, sir. You're not here to handle business or anything like that. You can't just be in here recording. I've already you're told you I'm here to citizen. handle business. Then what business are you here to handle? Well, you don't need to get upset. Um, because I'm asking you a question okay. and you're going all around. You're I've not already here to answered that business? question. Okay, then you need to leave. You can't ask me to leave. You can ask well, me I to can't. leave, but you certainly can't make me leave. I'm not asking you. I'm not making you do anything. I'm okay. I'm informing you. Uh -huh. If you're not here to handle business. If you're not here to see somebody upstairs, you can't just be walking around recording. This is a city building. It's funny you would mention that, ma'am, because he thinks that he owns the building because he paid for the building. As a taxpayer, he owns all city buildings, all county buildings, and all state buildings, not to mention federal buildings, because his taxes pay for it. Now, come on, ma'am. You can understand that, can't you? No, you can't understand that? Well, I don't blame you, because it sounds like a bunch of horse manure to me, too. But anyway, we're going to have this bloody idiot carry on, because soon the police will arrive. Let's see what they have to say about it. Exactly. Who, who do you think owns this building? This is not a private business. Hey, can I get some help, please? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to continue with what I'm doing. A few minutes later. You should know. All right, you have to leave. Can, I, can we get your supervisor? They'll explain it to you. <sighs> Stop recording me. Ma'am, you're in the wrong line of work if you don't want to be recorded. I'm sorry? I said you're in the wrong line of work if you don't want to be recorded. Maybe you should consider the private sector. I have a great idea, Frauditor. Why don't you get a real job? Yeah, why don't you get a real job? You're telling this young lady to get a job in the private sector. At least she has a job, Frauditor. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? She has a job and you don't. You stand around with your potato cam all day and take video. And then what do you do? Oh, oh, that's right. You upload it to YouTube to make money. That's pitiful. That's pitiful, Frauditor. That's pitiful. Oh, well, anyway, it, maybe you can't do anything else in life. Is that is that your boggle? That's what your boggle is? I understand. Ten minutes later. How you doing, officer? Yeah, I think she called on me. I was just walking around in a public area. I told her, you know, it's perfectly legal for me to do that, but she felt compelled to call 911 anyway. So okay. if you could explain to her, you know. Two eight, well, I'm signal 18, just an auditor. Um, yeah. Okay, that's it. all it is. You, so. Did you get whatever you needed? Well, I just want to make sure she knows that what I'm doing is, is okay. And okay. if you could, you know, maybe explain that to her. Okay. But you, you finished doing what you need? Well, 
I probably won't be much longer. You know. Right, well, hang on, hang on. Let me let me talk to her real quick. I'll be right back. No, officer, he's not finished yet. He has to go back and educate everyone. And he'll leave when he gets good and ready to leave. And you're not going to rush him, are you, officer? Because he'll stay there just to spite everybody. That's how frauditors work. Oh, did I say work? I'm sorry. They don't work. They're unemployed. But that's how they operate. No doubt about it. They all want to educate people. On what? I don't know. What makes prodigers think that people need education? Oh, you're trying to educate us that you can stand around and look stupid with your cell phone camera and record in public places? And then I have to ask you something. How does that help protect our First Amendment rights here in America? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it's only for you to make money on clicks and views. I got you now. Yeah, um, I tried to come here probably a year ago. Right. Everything was locked up. I yeah. couldn't get in. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, and I just wanted to come through and walk through and, you know, get a picture of the, the signs and the artwork and stuff like that. Did you just hear what Elmer Fudd said? He wants to come in and get a picture of the signs and stuff. The signs and stuff. The hell are you talking about, man? You're talking out the other side of you know what. You get pictures of the signs and stuff. What does that mean? What does that mean, Frauditor? Speak English. If you're going to have a channel, you have to learn how to speak to your viewers. Signs and stuff. Wow, that's a plethora. That's a geyser of information, Frauditor. I'm telling you. But you carry on, sweetheart, because now look what's going to happen. You're going to have an escort around the building. How are you going to like those apples? Yeah. You want to escort me? Okay. All right. Yeah, I think she's probably got them worried too that what I'm doing is, you know, they're, you know, but I'm, I'm not here to start any trouble yeah, or I mean, anything. I just, yeah, I, I understand. It's just it's strange for them. They don't, you know, yeah. Somebody comes in there, they don't. I guess they've never had an auditor well, in here. You're probably not. And then, like, most people that come in here have business to do in here. And then yeah. They, she sends them to wherever. And yeah. That's what they well, they certainly don't look busy today. Frauditor, what would you know about them being busy? They have plenty of work to do. Just because they, you don't see them standing at the windows not doing anything doesn't mean they're not busy. Of course, they're a lot busier than you are, Frauditor. You remember that tried time you tried to get a job at McDonald's and they said, we're sorry, we can't hire you? And when you asked why, they said, well, son, because you're a few fries short of a Happy Meal. And you didn't understand that. Remember you went home and cried to your mama about that? And she had to explain it to you with pictures? You remember that, Frauditor? I'm certain you remember that. That's all I'm doing. I just want to walk through and uh, make sure that they're aware that it's okay. Do <laughs> you, you have any complaint with her? Or no, not at all. Just as really long as she good. knows, you okay. know, the next guy that comes in. She... Okay. All right. All right, officer. Uh, oh, I forgot Rogan. to ask your name. Rogan. 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 You don't have your name badge on. Yeah, it's the thing that the end of it came off. So. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, a supervisor's coming. If you want to speak to him? Oh, I don't need to speak to him. Oh. I'm sure. Who's the supervisor? Uh, Corporal Salako. Oh. So I'm just make a okay. lap around and yeah, uh, get good. on out of here. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Another frauditor who likes to educate people. He just wants that security guard to know it's okay for him to come in there and act like a fool. And he can do it anytime he wants. And he's going to come back. You can bet on that. Because he wants to make sure that everybody has a proper education. Isn't that thoughtful of the frauditor? How lovely indeed. But at any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, 
and morons on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So you assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh. Racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Uh, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead. Put Stop your hands on me. me, bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy. This is something you did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing yeah, in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You, you just me? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, you to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula, alu akbar, haknuik on the kra, ula wala fufatai. Greetings, Dr. Dave here. There was a great deal of confusion when I posted yesterday about my members only section. I will never charge to watch content on my channel ever. Let me repeat that. There will never be a charge to watch any videos on my channel. The members only section I was referring to is strictly for live streams. It's optional. You will never pay one single penny to watch anything on my videos or live streams. It's completely optional. If you would like to join the channel, it's up to you, but it will never cost a penny to watch anything on my channel ever. Now, let me get on with the public service announcement. Hello everyone, Dr. Dave here. Due to high demand and interest, Dr. Dave has decided to create a members only area for all his subscribers. Several badges and emojis are currently present. I'd like your feedback. What kind of badges and emojis would you like to see? And uh, right now, there's only one level you can join at. Let me know what other levels you'd be interested in. I really don't want to charge people extra money for an early view of a video. I believe that everyone should see the videos when they become available. But if you're really interested in something that I can provide, let me know and I will look into it. But for now, <laughs> enjoy!